It's 7.30 p.m. on Monday, September 4th, 2023, and I'm moving the cows to the fourth section. <coughs> this is the southeast corner of my pasture, <coughs> and I've decided to keep the water near the middle line and graze them from the north to the south, towards the south perimeter fence. So here they come. So I saw some pretty good grass, even on the, even in the uh, goat weed, as I said before. Um, I'm excited to see them graze all this. Hopefully, we'll see some uh, some good gains, some positive gains. There's the sheep. You can kind of see their heads in the grass, and there's some cows in the distance. <coughs> You can see the sheep and the cows. Come on, whoa! I'm gonna grab the end so I can put it back when they come. <coughs> Today, it got up in the 90s, and uh, right now it's probably at least 85, if not close to 90. Whoa! So, here they come. <laughs> the cows are hurting the sheep. <laughs> all right. That's all of them. Let me double check. I don't see any more cows. And let me fix this post. So the soil... <clears throat> I'm not fixing that post anytime soon. The soil is, uh, the top layer is soft. The middle layer is hard and the bottom layer is soft. So the rain did soften up the top layer of soil pretty quick. There we go. But the uh, middle layer of soil is still dry. I'd say that's about three inches down. No, an inch and a half. Yeah, about an inch and a half. <clears throat> and then we have the uh, the layer below that, which hasn't, which been, which has been damp for the whole year. So the grass hasn't quite recovered as much as I wanted, but it has recovered a lot. So you can see that the grass doesn't have pointy tips. Um, this, I believe, is the Indian grass. I saw lots of seed heads, and they point right back to tufts of that kind of grass. So, it did grow, just not as much as I'd like it to have grown. But I'm not complaining, and I don't think it's going to be a big difference. Hello, Young 20. <laughs> I saw a lot of uh, banana spiders that set up webs that have a fat, juicy grasshopper all tied up inside. So, yeah, I'm over here. So last year, uh, sometime, I think it was July 15th or something like that, we had a, uh, a, the fire, a field caught fire. This was part of the field that was burned. <clears throat> and, uh, so the sheep, when they graze, sometimes they graze a little too low for my liking and they get black lips from the, the, the ash that's still down there, the soot in the ash. So I figure there's plenty of trees here. The cows can take shade. If they need water, they need to walk to the other side of the field to get the water, but it should be okay. The reason why, one of the reasons why I wanted to keep them here, uh, the principal reason is just, there's just not a lot of shade in the southwest corner of my field down there which is where i wanted to set up the water and give them shade i just didn't feel comfortable uh, doing that the second reason is i remembered that i wanted the muscovy ducks to eat the flies so hopefully having the cows near the, the muscovy ducks which they're going to use this for shade the entire week and a half that i'm in this half of the field 
I'm just going to leave this open for them. Um, so I want the muscovy ducks to start warming up to the cows, possibly eating the flies that the cows bring. So, and the cows are being naughty. Naughty, naughty, naughty. No, 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 naughty, naughty. Can you pick up that post, the broken post? Come on, get out of here. So. Anyway. So we are, they're all in. They all have fresh grass and fresh pasture. A new place to go poop and pee. Hopefully they'll find the water pretty quick. They should, they remember where it is. It's the same place it was last time they were here. So hopefully they'll follow the wire and get the water. So I don't need to show them where it is. That's all I have for you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.